All right, so we're back with another fun boxing unboxing video. This week's box, although it looks like Ace Ventura has been kicking it around, <laughs> it came from our friends Jamie and Jess, Gone to the Snow Dogs. I'm sure you guys know who they are. I will put links in the description and up above so you guys can go see the box in return that we sent them full of snacks from and other stuff from California. So I'm really super excited to see what they sent us. And let's, uh, let's open the box. Let's do it. Oh, I already see something you're gonna love. Peace? No. Oh, it's already pop. <laughs> it's already pop. Alright, let's get rid of all the packaging. Oh, the first thing that I find like in the Easter. box is like some Easter. hair extensions for Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mooch might want those. I think she's trying to I change. I think they sent cat toys. <laughs> I think she's trying to change your dude. Her eyes are all like big now, like. Yeah, yeah this is a present. <laughs> That's for him. <laughs> he wants to eat his lion. He's happy. He got a cat toy. Alright, Crystal, you pick first. I'm going big. You got Fago. Oh, uh, I got some Fago. What is Fago? Is this soda that, that they make in Michigan? Probably from Detroit. I got Rock and Rye. Delicious Fago. I wonder what this is. I wonder what Rock and Rye is. If it's just regular cola flavor? Cream cola? Cream cola. Like a cream soda? It's warm, but huh. I feel like we should try it. Or I should put on some face paint and spray it around all over the place. <laughs> That's probably so what, more what, what the intention was. Uh, cause the Insane Clown Posse is from Michigan and from Detroit. And they, uh, they spray a lot of Fago all over everybody during the time that the, they're on stage for their concerts. It's so just their thing. I used to spray be Fago. a ICP fan. <laughs> oh, can we put a picture up Back on the screen? Back in the day. Can we do that? Can we get a picture? Of what? We can get a picture. A dad in full ICP I'm makeup. never gonna live this down. This was a long time ago <laughs> when I was like 17, 18 years old. And you worked in a place that was printing their products. Like you had but, some connection yeah, to them. Yeah, but still, like, I enjoyed, you weren't just I enjoyed a fan for no reason. Right. Maybe chicken up. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it is. Holy cow. Good call. That's red and it was about to be holy everywhere. Holy cow. Dang, that thing almost exploded in my face. <laughs> it would explode on me too. Chris will probably fine over there. Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good cream soda. <laughs> That is pretty good cream that soda. That is pretty good. Try it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Way to go, Fago. Way to bring me back to my. Way to bring me back to my youth, guys. <laughs> All right, Blake, you reach in there and just grab something. I wonder what this is. Blake, wait, Blake's. <laughs> Blake's cherry jam. Is I guess Blake's we don't get you. any of that. That's Blake's jam. <laughs> that's, mine, that's all for you. That's awesome. <laughs> that's your cherry jam. What else does it say on the packaging? It looks like it says cherry jam. It says ingredients. Sugar, cherries, don't know that word, water, citrus acid, produce by equipment, handling that. <laughs> Produced by equipment. I like that part. It is uh, yeah, made especially for Blake's. <gasps> yeah! It's only for Blake. <laughs> I guess you're the only one that can have this jam. Can we get a spoon and try some of it? I will go get a spoon. I can. I will go get a spoon. It says they've been growing good times since 1946. I like that slogan. Hey, looks like he likes the box. Yeah, he's eating the tape now. <laughs> <laughs> he he loses this, like bubble wrap stuff, and then... Yeah. I he the just tape. thinks he got a toy. You don't even have to send a cat toy. He's just happy with the packing material in the box. Well, if things go the way I think they're going to go, then there's going to be some Dan butter in there or something. <laughs> some Dan butter. Butter. Some Dan butter. <laughs> That's a big spoon. I got smaller spoons. But you put them on the table. Okay, and? You feed it to him like an airplane? No, Aww. this is my bite. Aww. I wonder if this would be better like sandwich this or ice cream. Only bite oh yeah, probably on some sandwich or ice cream. Yep, pretty good. You spilled. Well, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It probably tastes good. better because it's for Blake. Yep. It tastes like cherry pie. It does. It tastes like like almost like maraschino, maraschino cherries. It almost tastes like those type of cherries, like nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. I want more. <laughs> you double dipping? Mm-hmm. Yes. Dang, dipping. you got your own jam. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. This is really good. <laughs> Dang, so far you're hitting home runs. I'm liking this. <laughs> Hold on. I guess I have I'll to, put this over here. I have to yep. take a sip of my Fago. I pulled out a pack of Yummy Bits chocolate chip cookie <laughs> soft bakes. Yummy Bits? Yummy I Bits. I like that. <laughs> baked, with, <laughs> baked with local mitts. And it's got a little We're picture mixed. of uh, Michigan on the back. So this is going to be something obviously local. Michigan's from, shaped like a mitten. From that. Really? Mitts is another word for hands. Oh. So baked with local mitts. I'm one of these type of people that like, like Michigan. I'll save something until it goes bad just because like I got to find the right time to eat it. So <laughs> you don't doing, want to eat the last of it. Doing, doing 
unboxing videos where we try everything in front of the camera, I feel like, oh my gosh, now the time's ticking. This stuff's going to go bad. Eat, 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 um, eat. Right away, looking inside here, it totally looks like somebody took a bunch of cookies and just smashed them in there. No. Well, that's why they're bits. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> it's got crumb on some like, ice cream or something like that. Those are really good. You know what they taste like to me? They taste like Chewy Chips Ahoy. Yeah, but better, better, I think. They don't have that, like, plasticky That's why it says all natural texture. on the front. And one bag equals one meal for local hungry kids. That's awesome. Oh, cool. The well, first ingredient, by the way, love. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is there hair Yeah, in it? the first ingredient is absolutely love. Is there hair in it? Is there crystal that's hair in That's what I was thinking. There's totally <laughs> hair in it, because that's how you know it was made with love. Dude, you can't just be licking your butthole on the camera. Like, you can't. <laughs> I'm trying to make some, some, like, videos here, and you're just snacking. All right, what? my turn. I picked sausages. <laughs> I'll just pass that right on are over there. Sausages? No. Uh, these are Dearborn brand sausages, family owned since 1946. Original sausages. It doesn't yeah, say where it's original. made, but according Dearborn, Michigan. Oh yes, that's the place. Okay. <laughs> I thought it meant the guy that's on the package. I don't know if you guys can see the guy on the package does look like a dude that would be from the UP. Wrong thing. Does he? It's a me. Eat my sausages. <laughs> What's UP? <laughs> The Upper Peninsula from where they're at. Oh. Uh, do we want to try these now? Yeah. 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 Wait, Mooch says he would like some. But Mooch, Crystal eat some too? No, I am absolutely not. You're no fun. Crystal, in case you guys didn't get the memo, is a vegetarian. Therefore, she will not be trying any of these snacks. Here, try, like try like my that, sausage. Or? You just eat it. I don't think I'm okay with this. It's pretty slimy. Can you know, this one's got a, a This one's got a dangle on it. Oh. It's actually good. good. Yeah. It's like a Slim Jim without all the Slim Jim crap. Yeah, look at Mooch is sniffing. Let's see what Mooch says about the sausage. He's like, yeah, I want some sausage. <laughs> You're up, Blake. Whole gray, gluten-free, no gum, no filters. What so is it? Cookies. Filters or fillers? It's double... What kind of cookies? Yeah, fillers. Um, double chocolate cookie mix. Yum. Where's this we eat now? I think that's for me. <laughs> yeah, I think so too as well. Awesome. It's from Amongst Friends, it's called. Among. We don't have to be pretentious. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's for all cookie lovers. <laughs> Is this something that also came from like the Mitten Factory or something like that? I'm sure it did. From Susie and Lizanne, the founding friends. Is there pictures of them? There is. Yeah, it's, the it's made in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, they look so happy and full of money. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a double chocolate? This one's this one's double chocolate. That's gonna be really good. I super love chocolate. It's it's all soft in there. All, all right, right okay. my turn. I got uh, ooh. ooh Sanders Americans original toppy milk chocolate hot fudge gluten free Sanders? like the like Colonel Sanders. Um, I think it's maybe maybe they're related. Manufactured in Clinton Township, Michigan. Wow, you guys did a really good job on finding everything that was made locally. You guys must have some sort of like mitten store or something <laughs> like that, or some sort of Michigan store that just only sells stuff that's made locally. Not I noticed most of the stuff says gluten free. I wonder if that's a thing up there. Yeah, everybody's got gluten allergies up there or something. <laughs> Well, we'll try this in just a little It'll bit. We'll get some ice cream right out now. and we'll try some. Maybe this will be our finale. With some cherry jam on top, too? Uh -huh. Yep. Some Blake's. Down with that. Blake's cherry. Well, well, Blake, can I have right. some of your cherry jam? Mm -hmm. I'll take peat water. Ooh. Michigan apple pie, old tiny McClary Brothers drinking vinegar. Our drinking yeah. vinegars, traditionally known as shrubs, are handcrafted in small batches with fresh seasonal ingredients to deliver a superior taste experience. Cheers! Mix, drink, repeat as necessary. What do you do with it? It's drinking vinegar. Oh, you can make a cocktail with it. Can you oh, now you're speaking our language. Can you make a drink from Blake out of it? Maybe. Are you supposed to just like open it up and drink it? Because vinegar to me doesn't seem like I'll something drink it. that you it's should It's drinking do. vinegar. It looks Apparently, like it needs to be shaken up. It does. Apparently that's just a thing. I'll we don't drink vinegar, vinegar, vinegar in California. That's no, yeah, we're, 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 we're civilized. <laughs> <laughs> we're civilized. Sometimes we use white vinegar to clean things and dye our Easter eggs, but... <laughs> really? We use white vinegar? I we use bleach. <laughs> no, please don't dye your Easter eggs with bleach. Why not? Because you'll die. It says it's apple pie flavored. Are you really just going for it? I will. Oh, it totally smells like vinegar. I want to smell it. Drink it. It totally smells like vinegar. Oh, jeez. Yep. 
That's you guys just drink vinegar? You open it, you picked it, you gotta drink it. <laughs> it might be used to be mixed with stuff. It says you can make a mixed drink, but it says it's just for drinking. What's this little thing say on the top right here? To craft your old-timey shrub cocktail, you mix it with your choice of spirit and some drinking vinegar and sparkling water. Let Mooch smell it. Or well, just mix one part of this with four parts sparkling water. What's uh, that? I don't know. Cheers. It smells like Mooch. apple pie vinegar. I'll give it that. Mooch. What does Mooch think? I'm surprised Mooch is fine with it. <laughs> Can you open that? Because I might need to wash this down. <laughs> Oh geez, that tasted well. <laughs> Death's turn. There you go. That is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, actually. <laughs> it tastes like vinegar, though. Just take a sip. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, right? Yeah. Still like burning, like yeah. carbonated, tingling. I, like, I liked it. I thought it was I didn't pretty like good. It. It's we don't. I don't want to drink this all the time, but it I don't think I want to drink it ever again. <laughs> I definitely yeah, I got away with like not having, like having drinking vinegar without it being awful. Well, I guess we know that Dad likes vinegar. I guess I so. Like maybe an I, apple I would probably try it in a mixed drink, but I don't know. Maybe with, apple cider. It says with the spirits of your choice. I wonder if it would be good with like my vanilla vodka and like vanilla and apple. Probably not. <laughs> we have some sparkling water, although it's lime flavored because you drank all the regular ones from the last time we Pro Probably not. No, <laughs> you wouldn't try it. Nope. All right, you're up, Blake. What is this? Some dried dark chocolate covered cherries and they're all stuck to the top. Are they Blake's cherries? No. That'd be cool though. Blake cherry, uh, dry cherries. They're all stuck, they're all stuck to the top though. They are all stuck to the top. Like super oh. stuck to the top. The is top this way. made in Michigan as well? Sure it is. sure is. <laughs> Man, you That's guys impressive. are impressive. Yeah, I don't even, when, when we were making stuff for your box, I'm not even sure we'd we were able to find that many things that weren't imported from other places in the country. This is super melty and we might have to use our spoons. So. It is It is just a big goo ball. Yeah, it's like 100 degrees out here, so the yeah, chocolate was not too happy. We're just sweating it up. Yeah, that was good. I like it. I like cherries a lot, so that's really good. Yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously I love chocolate. Cherry things you get like the, the like cherry, like the chocolate cherries inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna find something else. That's pretty good. So far, I like everything. Except that. <laughs> Except the vinegar. <laughs> I'm not down for the vinegar. Alright. But I'll totally make everybody who comes to my house drink it. Oh, yeah, this totally tastes good. <laughs> this stuff is Scotty O'Hotty. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Um, beer bacon chipotle hot sauce. From the Motor City, so obviously we know it's from Detroit. I love hot sauce a lot. I put hot sauce on like everything. Literally. Yeah. I it's more been hot sauce, sauce lately. Hot sauce. <laughs> I've evolved to hot You've sauce. You've got like half a dozen at least different varieties in there. And you Are never... you just gonna swig it? I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Does it smell hot? Does it smell beer? It, it smells good. Oh, you're so brave. It's thick. It's not coming out. Oh, you're gonna drink it all. It's not coming out. Chug, right. yeah. It's really, <laughs> it's really good. I ain't getting. Dip your finger in. <laughs> not like that. You failed. No top. Oh, oh, you just mashed it in. It's hot. Oh, so it's been like 30 seconds and that's starting to make me sweat really bad. <laughs> How much did you have? I took a swig of it. It was good. I saw my finger in it. I, that's hot. <sighs> it is hot. It <laughs> that's why hot. I didn't bother with it. I'm not a huge hot sauce fan. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. I'm glad I opened up this first because it's been saving the day so far. I see more gluten-free. Jalapeno cherry butter. Oh, Nothing on you. Jalapeno. Guess what the first ingredient is? The jalapeno? Love. Michigan cherries. Uh, <laughs> not the cherry, <clears throat> lots of cherry stuff. Yeah. Sorry, I'm choking on the hot Apparently, sauce. Apparently Michigan cherries are a thing. It's neat how many of these things are like made there since... Like in hometown. Yeah, like they have like a lot of history ago. stuff on yeah. this stuff. Yeah. It's got the consistency of a jelly. So it's jalapeno I'm cherry butter. Are you? Jalapenos, yeah. Thank you, jalapenos. Oh. I dig it. Oh. And Crystal didn't bring anything. <laughs> to I love jalapenos. It is good. I got chunk of jalapeno too. I'm I'm happy. The cherry flavor was good. That jalapeno <laughs> kick though. Oh my goodness. That's jalapeno. It's good. You probably were happy you opted out of that. Yeah. It was good though. Gonna have some of that fago to wash it down. That's really spicy. I liked it. <laughs> By the end of this I thought it was really gone. good. Good, because we're out of lunch meat. You're having a jalapeno cherry butter and peanut I butter sandwich not. tomorrow. 
<laughs> I'm still sweating from uh from Scotty O'Hottie's hot sauce. Can't believe you swinged it. All right, it's your turn, Blake. I hope there's not much more. I can't stuff listen to the box. I don't know what I'm going to see. Just reach. Some happy girl. I don't know what that word says. Homemade Oswood Mill. It's Michigan, not Mill. It's um granola. It says yeah, happy awesome. girl Why don't granola. We, we could Kind of looks like crystal, so it's probably something for crystal. Is that what you think? Yep. <laughs> cherry almonds. Another big cherry. Just a girl with a another ponytail. thing with a cherry in it. I, I love it because I love cherries. I love hot things. So, so far, I'm super happy. What is it? Just cherry granola. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to choke on it. No, it's good. This tastes like cereal. That's real good. And the way it's packaged and stuff, it seems like it came from like some like small place. That's good. I like that. I really like that. I would eat this like in cereal for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My oatmeal. What is this? Ooh, I got some, uh, <laughs> Miss Dogs Unleash the Flavor Chipotle Salt. Wait, Miss Dogs? So this is also from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Holy cow, you guys make a lot of things over there. Right? And it looks like it's like, you know, the seasoned salt. Chipotle seasoned salt. So I'll definitely use this on some of our baking stuff for sure. Baking? I'm gonna eat right now. Mm-hmm. Cooking? The, probably cooking. For some cookies. Probably don't want it in cookies and muffins. All right. So we'll use that to cook with. <laughs> it feels like a little jug. Like when we're done with it, we can blow on it and make music. <laughs> really? Great Lakes 100% Michigan maple syrup. All right. I am syrup. excited to try can like some pancakes right now. Good syrup. Like you're just gonna start eating some syrup right now? Uh, I'm just gonna chug it like you do with the hot sauce. Do you want to stir? I agree with this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's way more liquidy and less sticky than regular syrup. Really? Not sugar. It's probably like sugar. It's not sugar free, but like. Less That's sugar. good. It is very good. Oh, it, it is. It, it tastes, tastes buttery. Yeah, it tastes different that's, than like store-bought really syrup. It tastes buttery. I like it. Yeah, I approve. Yeah, I approve of all this stuff. We so may far. have to make some pancakes this Everything weekend just so we this can have this delicious and syrup. This I approve of. And it's in a cute little jug. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I adorable. like that. Well, you said we put music to it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> we did it back in the day. All right, Blake, your turn. Sticky now. Sorry, it'd be easier to grab something with. Oh, he's a bad There's multiple things in there. You only get to pull one out. Aw. Oh, more bango. Bango. This, this one's red pop. All right. What's a bango? Bago. A bango. Red pop bago. All right. We should have a fago battle soon. Looks like a strawberry one. It does. Uh, or cherries. I see strawberries. There's little oh, there's, seeds there's strawberries. strawberries. <laughs> All right. More bago. We'll put this one in the fridge and we'll drink it cold. Yes. We'll totally drink it cold. All right. In another bottle, I'm sure. Yes. Oh, some root beer. Fago? Yeah. Drafty style. Yeah. All, All right. right. Drafty style means. Nice. What's that? The word drafty style means. Draft style. Like it came out of like the draft, like fresh. Oh, oh they pour beer. Yep. All right, Crystal, you're up. Oh, wait, there's a letter on the top of this. Oh, because oh, it was opened upside down. Oh, we're horrible friends. <laughs> it looks like oh, a description look, of everything. Of, like, everything. Oh, <laughs> we're over here trying to guess what everything was. The letter was on the other side of the box. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so the first thing on the list is the dried cherry blend, which I don't think we got out yet. So this one's dried cherries, cranberries, and blueberries. You open that. These are real Traverse City cherries. Michigan is the largest producer of cherries in the country, which now makes all the cherry items make a lot more sense. Right. Yes. The cranberries and blueberries are also grown in Michigan. That was really good. I'm it tastes a, like a fruit roll, like an old school fruit roll up. I'm not a huge fan of dry like things. Those are really no, they good. No, you don't hear that first step. What? You don't hear that bad. Good job. <laughs> You don't like it? I like these. These are really good. These are the best. I don't like the texture. It's like a raisin. Oh, you don't like raisins, huh? What'd you say about raisins? It's got good flavor. Um, raisins are Satan's grapes, and I could really do without them. Really? Have some bago. The flavor's not bad. It tastes like cherries. They're good. They're really good. They taste really fresh. All right, so let's play good news, bad news. We'll start with the bad news first. The bad news is I lost the last clip of my video. I don't even know what happened. The camera just stopped recording. I've been devastated for the last few minutes. The good news is, the box that Jess and Jamie sent us was awesome and I loved everything in it. My favorite thing really in the whole box was probably the jalapeno got, cherry got the fago? jelly. And the fago. Was <laughs> I was surprised at how good that flavor was. It was good. What I about you, I only had orange before. 
Yeah, you've had it before? You should know the answer. No, we went to Chicago favorite. and I got it. We were making mixed <laughs> drinks right. with it because I needed orange soda. You should know the answer what my favorite thing was. What was your favorite thing? My Blake. Your Blake jelly? Yeah, my Blake jam. <laughs> jelly. <laughs> what about you? What was your favorite thing in the whole box? The the Blake jam was pretty darn nope. good. It, 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 it can't like, be favorite. It tastes like cherry pie. It was and the syrup. really good. I'm really excited for the syrup. <sighs> that was the syrup. Tomorrow That's we're getting up and making a... Uh, Pancakes for my birthday. And have Dad's making. Them. Maybe we'll come by and bring you pancakes at work. Maybe. With uh, Michigan we'll syrup. Up. We'll see yep. how that goes I'm, tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Your syrup. birthday is like in 10 minutes from now, so happy birthday. Thanks. Uh, no, it's 11 minutes from now. If Technically, they, I was born at like 8 a.m., so it's not my birthday for eight more hours. True, true. No, it's your birthday, the day you were born. Yeah, that works. But I'm not older yet. But it's the day of your birthday. I'm still 27. Morning. So thank you everybody who stuck with what? us for the last 20 minutes of this video. And thank you, Jamie and Jess, for sending us all this rad stuff because we thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, yes, that was a lot of fun and I'm excited to yep. finish off the rest of the stuff. Blake already nope, had a, no more jelly for you. <laughs> Blake already had a peanut butter and Blake jam sandwich. How was that? Without good. whole peanut butter? That's, that's, but, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was bad. So thank you guys again and we'll see you guys next unboxing video where we'll make sure that all the clips are present before we stop recording. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good job on the jelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs>